me, tuning and development. So today, I thought I'd go over direct injectors, how they function, some of the facts, and some of the myths about them, and what are the differences between the injectors, especially the back. Let's start with the basics. The outside of the injector, you have the injector body. We have what's known essentially as a collar right here that is removable and changeable between them. The injector tip, where the actual output of the fuel is. We have the injector seal, this dirty part right here, essentially. That seals the combustion inside the engine to keep it from getting out past the injector. And we have the injector O-ring that seals the fuel pressure into the rail. Here is where the inlet is on the injector. One thing to note that all of these injectors, by design, they all have a screen inside them to help try and prevent external contamination from getting into the injector. The internal components of the injector are actually extremely simple, at least as far as moving parts go. All there is is there's a spring that goes in here that keeps a mild tension on the injector so that when you actually go to start the car without the injector opening, fuel doesn't just leak past it. Outside of that though, the actual fuel pressure itself is much greater force that keeps the injector shut. That's why the size of this determines how reactive the injector will be. I'll get into that a little bit later, but you'll notice the coil winding goes all the way down to the bottom. So that means that when this is actually operating and this lifts, this piston comes out, it's directly in the middle of the magnetic field. Well, what does that do? That essentially allows this to self-locate and free float in the middle. So that becomes a frictionless movement. So there's no uh, metals per se to wear out because it is self-located directly in the middle. The only way they'll generally wear out is if you somehow manage to burn out this coil, which all HDEV injectors use the same coil or get some form of an external contamination. These do have a screen. Unfortunately, I can't get to it because they are buried down in here, but that pre-screening mostly protects them. But if you have some form of external contamination so that the particles can get into the injector from the outside, then you can possibly lock them up or create some form of damage. I thought it also might be neat to try to show at least a little bit, while I don't really have a great magnetic field on the injector, that it's so simple in design that even with it cut away, it still wants to function to open and close an injector with half the magnetic field gone. When a direct injector sits in the cylinder, it sits about on this angle and it sprays into the pocket, but it only does this and only takes benefit of this pocket during something called split injection. What that is, is when the air is drawn into the cylinder, it sprays a very minute amount. And then right before the ignition event, it sprays a little bit more fuel to give it a more easy area to ignite and then burn the leaner area in the cylinder. The piston on the left here is the same one that you will find inside of a Honda injector and you will find them in the factory injector. The reason the design is similar is both of these injectors use a restricted entry. And you can see on the right, uh, the injectors which I sell at fkatv.com do not have a restricted entry. If you try to take the Honda injector and turn it into an unrestricted entry, you will pretty much turn them into paperweights. Due to the design of the piston on the left, the 
injector is extremely susceptible to fuel pulsations and differences in fuel pressure. This is not an issue here on the injectors that I saw, but you'll notice the materials are different. So the amount of force that can be generated on the piston in the center here is clearly different along with the ridge there that also has an effect on the flow. The actual holes though, the both of these piston designs through the holes that pass through them flow way more than enough to flow four times what these injectors put out. So now you can see firsthand for yourself how the FKTD.com injectors have a different spray pattern compared to the Honda injectors and the OEM injectors. I explain on my website how we can gain a degree and a half, or two degrees of ignition timing, and this has to do with the spray pattern and the cooling of the combustion chamber. I'm not saying Honda injectors aren't good, they are a good injector just saying my design's different and that's what you gain with my design. Before I close out, there's definitely not enough subscribers. It only takes a second to hit subscribe. I'm sure plenty of you watch the videos and do not subscribe. So please hit the subscribe button, like, share the videos with your friends, and the more subscribers, the more content I can make for you guys. Thank you again and have a great day.